Welcome to my presentation for the annual research symposium about the development of smart bee droplets as implantable sensors for cancer monitoring. In our project, we will create a nanobio sensor to monitor patients with cancer. This nano sensor will be composed by gold nanostars embedded in different hydrogel formulations as a biocompatible matrix. This nanobio sensor will be injected under the skin of patients with cancer to monitor the different soluble cancer biomarkers that are present in the interstitial fluid of the dermis. But which could be the best form to introduce this nanobio sensor inside the skin? In our group, we have available an microfluidic device to generate micro droplets with whole nanostars and hydrogel that we will use it uh, to create this nanobio sensor. These micro droplets will be introduced inside micro needles and these will be injected under the dermis of the patients with cancer to monitor the different soluble cancer metabolites that are present in the dermis. To create this view material, firstly we need to dilute the hydrogel in the ionized water during two hours and under magnetic stirring. This hydrogel solution that we will obtain, we will use for the dispersed phase. In addition, the DPBS, that is the cross linker of the hydrogel, we will use it also for the dispersed phase. On the other hand, for the continuous phase, we will use oil with surfactant. The flow rates that we will use to perform these micro droplets will be 1,000 microliters per hour for the continuous phase, the all with surfactant, and also 200 microliters per hour for the dispersed phase, the DPBS and the hydrogel solution. All of the solutions will be connected in a flow focusing device with channels of 200 micrometers, and the fluxix will be moving in the direction of the arrows and when the micro droplets will be created, this will be stored in different cover slips with chambers. We will use the bright field inverting microscope to study the flux of the micro droplets, as you can see in this scan. And also, we will use this microscope to evaluate the composition of the micro droplets and also the morphology. Our preliminary results were performing two tests, fluorescein in DPVS to evaluate the percentage of this vapor solution inside the droplets. We obtained a different population of micro droplets. We obtained, for example, micro droplets with hydrogel, micro droplets with hydrogel and DPVS, as you can see in these images, and also the major part of the micro droplets were polo dispersed. In addition, all of these experiments requires optimization. Our future perspectives will be to combine gold nanostars in uh, different uh, fluorophores to see the presence of the uh, gold nanostars inside the droplets. For that, we will mix gold nanostars in the DPBS and also we will use a hydrogel solution and the old surfactant to create these micro droplets. After that, we will check if these micro droplets in the confocal microscope to see the presence of the fluorophore attached in these gold nanostars and in addition to see the presence of these nanoparticles inside the droplets. Thank you for your attention.